Duplication for facilitation. The House is really pressed for time in its push for charter change, hence to expedite matters and hopefully begin amendments on key economic provisions of the Constitution. A proposed bill nearly identical to the Senate's resolution of both houses number no. 6 has been filed by three eager Solons. How this changes the dynamic and affects the fragile and shaky status quo between the House and the Senate, our Mela Les Morris elaborates in this report. House Senior Deputy Speaker Don Gonzalez, Deputy Speaker J.J. Suarez, and House Majority Leader Manix Dalipe personally visited the Bills and Index Service Office of the House of Representatives earlier today. This to file resolution of both houses number 7, pushing to amend the economic provisions of the Constitution through a constituent assembly. Its contents are similar to that of RBH 6 of the Senate, which mainly focus on relaxing the restrictive provisions on public utilities, basic education, and advertising industry, adding the phrase, unless otherwise provided by law. Now that the lower house has a separate RBH 7, they are hoping to have a more rapid passage of the resolutions, which will give way to the economic charter change. Those provisions that we place here in resolution of both houses number 7 are the same provisions that the Senate also filed with their RBH number 6. Wala pong pagkakaiba kung ano po yung economic provision na gusto ng ating mga senador na baguhin sa ating saligang batas, yun rin po ang mga provision na nilagay namin sa resolution of both houses number 7. I think the thing will speak for itself. Kailangan lang namin na pag-usapan ang mga proposed amendment at sabayan ang Senado para mapabilis ang proseso, lalo na sa target ng Senado, sabi ni Senate President Mix na before Holy Week. Despite the same contents of resolutions, the congressmen are eyeing a different approach, which they say is more efficient. And this is true convening a committee of the whole. It would be proper that the committee of the whole, no, lahat po ng member ng Kongreso, ay mapag-usapan ito at i-elevate yung level of discourse and discussion and debate dun sa usapin na sa aming paniwala ay maaaring makatulong sa ating ekonomiya. If you will look at the Senate's strategy, subcommittee, committee, roadshow, plenary, I mean, kayo na po ang uh, mag-discuss. Uh, kayo na po, in your mind, why? Kami, we, want, we, we feel that this should be discussed exhaustively. This should be expedited based on due process because we feel there's a need, no? The fact that their system, we respect the way they're doing it now, but you will see the sense of urgency in the House in this case because we really feel that it's the country needs it. With this development, several lawmakers from the lower chamber once again reiterated their hopes for nothing but economic cha-cha as it is important for the country's development. They also dismissed the accusations that they are doing all this because of their political agenda. Ito po ay hindi para sa mga congressmen, hindi po ito sa mga para sa mga senador, para po ito sa mga taong bayan. We, what we only want is to uplift the lives, the quality of life of Filipinos. That is all. Eh, yung sinasabi ng mga senador na eh, baka i-aboli eh, sila, there is no truth to the matter. We are a bicameral legislature and will always remain a bicameral legislature. We want to make it clear that there is no plan to abolish the Senate. Amid the issues on constitutional reform, the House of Representatives proudly shared having passed nearly all the priority bills set by the Marcus administration. For SONA priority bills, 17 out of 17 have been approved, while for LEDAC priority bills, they are eyeing to pass it all before the Holy Week break. Just like now, what we'll be doing, my suggestion na nga, with RBS 7, Committee of the Whole House. So, we will not dilly-dally on that. We will work double time, over time, if we, there's a need to. That's, that's the, the character of the House of Representatives. We always act with a sense of urgency. Melales Moras from the National TV Network for a new and better republic.